Well, Nats fans turned out in droves for tonight's game against the Phillies. But for drivers, there was some frustration. That's because, as Leon just said, it's D.C. Emancipation Day. So parking was free in most of the district, but not near Nationals Park. Richard Reeve is live in southeast Washington with more on this confusion. Rich? Allison, this is a law that's been on the books since 2008, but it hasn't really been enforced. But take a look. This is what Nats fans arrived to when they started parking, and a lot of them are not happy about it. Nats Park. Packing them in this holiday evening. I mean, I think it's a little ridiculous. For would-be street parkers, a bit of sticker shock. It's greed. Just greed. Before tonight, metered parking near the ball field on Sundays and holidays was free. Not anymore. It's a way to get revenue, and it's an easy way to get revenue. I mean, if, if you just have people just pay for the parking, you get the revenue right away. How much will it cost you? $2 for the first hour, $8 for the second and third, and two more for the fourth. I'm really not a fan of it, to be honest. That's 20 bucks for four hours of parking. Not so bad, says Will Hudson, but still. I think that it's just kind of a cheap way for the city to make money. I think that uh, they just kind of sprung it on us without warning. You have to start feeding the meter one hour before game time. You know, it's bad enough that you already pay for everything else, the cost of the, of the game and, and the high cost of the food. So why can't we just have just affordable uh, parking? And you have to pay to park until 10 p.m. I think it's ridiculous after 6 o'clock, particularly after 5. Robert Klein says he feels like he's being nickeled and dimed. If my $2 an hour makes a difference to the D.C. government, something's wrong. Now it's literally a game changer. Not very fair. Now, DDOT tried to do this last year, but there was conflicting information on the signs above and then the meters down below. Now, DDOT insists this is not about making money, but instead trying to encourage people to use mass transit. But a lot of folks on the street here tonight would disagree. In southeast Washington, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News.